Can you please turn that down? Miles? I'm trying to recover from the accident I had last night. Can you please turn that down? Can you please? This lady recorded some conversations with she and her boyfriend. She also recorded some actions from him as well. And this shows how most relationship can be. And she kind of said some things that she tolerated, some things that she's tolerating currently. And it's just so sad. And I decided to share with you all today. So she posted a video whereby she was telling the guy, please reduce the music. It's affecting me. I need to recover from an accident. And he went back on to increase, to keep increasing the music. Anyways, I'm going to roll the clip for you all to watch. In case there is no music while you're watching, maybe YouTube removed the music because of copyright. Anyway, she later posted and said, as embarrassing as it is to post this, I need every single woman to research narcissism and become familiar with the signs before you end up begging for basic decency while trying to recover from physical injuries after an accident. The music was blaring before, he realized I was recording, and I had to continue to ask him to turn it down. I came out of the living room to be alone and to got out of the shower to come and antagonize me. Let me roll this clip for you all to watch and I'll be back. Can you please turn that down? Miles? I'm trying to recover from the accident I had last night. Can you please turn that down? Can you please turn the music down? I'll turn it down again. Miles, you know what you're doing. You had the music in the bathroom and then you brought it on here. You brought it out here intentionally. I'm gonna smoke. In the apartment? See what you do? Oh well now I have proof of you smoking in the apartment. We're not supposed to be smoking in the apartment. Ooh, whatever you would like with that guy. Okay. Can you we please turn the music out? down? That's fine. You're not Miles. Here. Miles. So, can you please turn the music down? Free, the one can you please turn you the music had, down? You are now not doing. Miles. So can you please turn the music down? I'm gonna do what I want in my apartment. I am trying to recover from the accident so I had from, last night. So Milana is gonna recover. Please. I'm enjoying my afternoon. Miles, Try you were just in the bathroom and then and you I'm intentionally gonna, came out smoke. here. Smoke. Okay. Just leave me alone. You came out here. I know, for smoke. You were just about to take a shower and you brought your music out here and started blaring it on purpose. It's okay. I'm recording everything so I have proof. Yeah, you have Miles. three thousand videos of proof. All right, so he has now created a fake profile and he is posting videos of me reacting to his abuse and he has these thirsty ass women on here validating him as if I am the abuser. This man has love bombed me, he has manipulated me, and he's admitted to these things. By the way, he has cheated on me, he has gaslit me. And just to give you context, my mental health over the last year and a half has deteriorated. I lost a baby at the beginning of last year. I had to bury my brother who was murdered in March of this year. I was fired for the first time ever in my life three weeks after my brother was murdered. I spent the summer unemployed and I opened a fucking cookie business and I started selling cookies on Facebook just so I would have money to be able to survive. And the audacity that he has to try to flip the situation and turn it into as if I was the abuser and I was the antagonizer. When you poke a bear for so long, you cannot be surprised when the bear pokes back. I have real life witnesses that can speak to his abuse. The day after we found out my brother was murdered, can you believe this selfish ass man was throwing a temper tantrum because he had to walk home from work? 
because I had to go to my mother's house as soon as I found out that he was killed. And we all gathered here at our apartment and everybody that came, like we had family members that drove from out of state. And when they came into the house, he didn't even look them in the eyes and acknowledge them and say, I am sorry for your loss. And actually, as a matter of fact, the next day, he admitted to me that he was jealous of me because I had so many friends and family that showed up to support me. I swear to God on everything I love. And I will always find it funny that he was so upset that he had to walk home the day after my, when I found, the day that I found out my brother was killed. He was so upset that he had to walk home. And what I don't understand is he would get upset and pissy at me when he didn't have a car for about six months because he chose to drink and smoke each paycheck that he got. He didn't have a car, but I made sure he got to work and I made sure that he came home. But when he was pissy and he didn't want anything to do with me, he would choose to walk home on his own. But because my brother was just murdered and I had to go check on my mom and make sure that my mom was okay and get in contact with my sister and do this whole thing. If you've ever lost somebody, you know there's a process. Because he had to walk home that day, he threw a fucking temper tantrum. And everybody that was at our apartment that day saw it and felt it. It was absolutely disgusting. I have so many videos that I have had to record. I have so many text messages that I have had to screenshot because I have been going crazy for the last year and a half. I have been going crazy because I have this experience and then unfortunately, I don't record the moments that he comes to me when I tell him I'm gonna fucking leave his ass. I don't have the moments where he asks me to stay, where he asks me to give him another chance, where he tells me he's gonna be a better man, when he says, let's just go to therapy, I can change, I will be better, when he gives me the excuse, well, I didn't have my dad in my life so I don't know what a man is supposed to look like. Unfortunately, I don't have those experiences on camera. The blatant disrespect has just gotten worse and worse and worse and worse each time that I forgive him. And I am so stupid and naive for actually believing that he's capable of change. But for him to try to turn the narrative is, is honestly just so sickening, especially when there are so many real life witnesses who can speak for his disgusting behavior. And honestly, the biggest red flag that I think I just did not really pay attention to, when we met and we started talking, he told me that his own mother told him she couldn't live with his mood swings and his ups and downs anymore and the emotional roller coaster that he put her through. I should have taken that as a fucking sign. It's also extremely important that I give you context over the last week. I am off on Sundays and Mondays. Last Sunday evening, my friend called me and she's like, hey, I'm going through it. Can you please come over? And I'm like, yes, no problem. So I get my stuff together and I'm going to leave and he's standing by the door and he's asking me where I'm going, what am I doing, who am I going to be? And I'm telling him, I'm trying to tell him I'm going over to this person's house. I'm going to be there for a couple of hours. We're going to go watch a movie. Oh, you want me to believe that you're going here and you're doing this? Yes, it's what I'm telling you. He had my location on. He chose to turn it off to be spiteful and petty, which is a behavior that he has introduced into the relationship a long time ago. So I wasn't surprised when he did this. But as I'm trying to reassure him and in his insecurities and his projection, he tells me to shut the fuck up and just get out of the house. As I am trying to reassure him because he clearly is being, in, he's, he's insecure and he doesn't believe me. So I walk out and I'm like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this. I'm leaving. You want to be petty and throw a temper tantrum? Fine. Goodbye. So I come back a couple of hours later. He was sleeping on the couch, which he's been sleeping on the couch for the last month. And he gets up off the couch, follows me into the room, and he goes, you expect me to believe that you were really at your friend's house watching TV for this long? Um, yes, that's exactly what I was doing. And had you not been petty and reacted in your feelings, you would have had my location and you would have seen exactly where I was telling you that I was going to be. And I'm telling him, this is where I was, this is what I was doing, and this is who I was with. He looks at me and tells me, I'm a fucking bitch. And at that point, when he, when he looked at me in my eyes and he said, you're a fucking bitch, I immediately said, you are not going to talk to me like that anymore. Nothing else that you can say is relevant to me. I am done talking. Have a good night. I'm not going to let you sit here and call me out of my name continuously and disrespect me like that. So then he starts and starts and starts with his shit. And I'm actually going to put the recording in here right now. Hold on. Okay, continue. You said I'm a fucking joke. I have nowhere to go. Uh -huh. You know, you, 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 you bring up therapy and you say we can fix it. We can work on it. Well, because you called me a fucking bitch. You are being a fucking bitch. 
fucking bitch. No, 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 not you being a fucking bitch. Honest, you called me a fucking bitch. A fucking that crosses a line. I don't deserve to be talked to like that. Get my own therapy? After you no, called me a fucking us, bitch. But yeah. Don't think about the three of us. No. That is a bitch fucking move after you told me no. you wanted to do such a work on me. Miles, so after you continuously disrespect me, I'm not con I'm not investing in therapy for you. I don't care about that. I know you don't. Okay. No, Miles. You called me a fucking and bitch, but I'm trying to get a reaction out of you. you are a fucking bitch for going back on your word. No, 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 no. Nobody went back on their word until you called me a fucking bitch. The fucking bitch came first. No. Don't conflate. Don't conflate. The fucking bitch came first. Un unwarranted. Oh, Miles, you said you, you were going to be sticking to means. you said you were going to be sticking to yourself. Yeah, Why are you still I know what they mean. Dude, you just told me you hate me. I'm the worst thing that's happened to you. You I wish did. you never met I me. You did. resent the you I resent did. having me in your life. I you did. wasted your time. Like what do you want? What do you want? Okay, Miles, you're not growing for yourself. Do not sit here and gaslight me. You just called me a fucking bitch. How is that growth? How is that growth? Fucking bitch because you won't grow up. You act like I'm not sitting here taking ownership. You Dude. are being a fucking bitch because you went back on your word. You said you were going to no. do something. You called me a fucking bitch and then I said, okay, I'm not paying for therapy. That's not you're being a fucking bitch no. because you're going back on your word. I Don't you sit here and bitch. twist the situation I you around. I fucking bitch because of how you've been acting all fucking today. Oh my you god. Don't me. justify I'm it, dude. Dude, I'm telling you why I called you a fucking bitch. Miles, I don't give a fuck why you called me a fucking bitch. Oh, I am I not going to be talked to like that. You are not going to disrespect me like that. You fucking left all the Miles, I have on. never sat there and talked to you like that before. You want me to pull recording? Are you fucking of crazy? me calling you a fucking talk, bitch? Of call, talking and being disrespectful to me. W excuse or, or, me, you no, have recordings of me being calling you me. a fucking bitch and calling you names? Dude, you're not hearing me. Other than calling you a yes, child other, and immature? Uh, other than names? Oh, absolutely. I will die on that hill. Are you kidding me? Dude, I don't know why you're in here. Look at now. You're, now After reflection. you just said you hate now me. Like, why are we talking? Reflection. What do you want? It's not deflection. What do you want? What do you want? You're the one turning the yeah, I turned the recording on because I like I actually cannot believe what that this I conversation is, is happening right now. Again, your responsibility is done for rent. Period. Yeah, no, 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 not for rent. You didn't ask me to to take on responsibility for rent. You told me this has been going on for months. No, I can you told me. Oh my god! But again, every time when it comes you told to me to pay the electric. Rent, you told me to pay the electric. Every time it comes to fucking responsibilities, Gabby. Oh, you want to add no, that? here's what it is. I know what it is. You spent the money that you should have had for rent, and now you're wanting my Are electric you, money early so you can cover money? rent. That's what it is. I'm a genius, actually. That's what it is. What was that again? You irresponsibly spent your money so you don't have what you need to cover rent, and you need my share for the electric bill two weeks earlier than what it's due because you want to use that towards the rent. No. No. Well, that's not on me. The way that you choose to spend your fucking money. That's that's not on me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. That's not on me. You want so the money back for the ticket? But when it was boo booing for you when your car note was due, and you were up here throwing fish. You paid my car. I paid your car note and I gave you the money back because you had a car new to a note due. But when hold on, hold on. You I let did. me borrow the money and I gave it right back to but you. No, Don't act like you made a car payment no, for me, please. The same thing in the please. Boo -boo about how you asked me for money for food. Can you stop over over. over you you want me to, to you want to pay oh, separately for food and you want to make it sound like you made a car payment for me? I did. Fucking did because you called my mom. You fucking called my mom. You didn't make a car payment for me. That's money that you yeah, owed me. That was money that you owed and me. You owe money for staying here. And you're sitting here oh my god. I'm not making you crazy. look crazy. You asked me to pay the electric bill, and I said I'll pay the electric bill Dude, when it's due on the 12th. Yes, I because it's not due until the 12th. Wait, wait. Yeah, you need the money now because you spent the money that you had. Rent on you guys. You spent rent money on movie tickets? food for you guys what when did you buy us food oh my god no no no. really when did you buy us food do i need to pull my bank statement oh milana's chipotle that you bought her a few do times this week i can send you money back for that no problem do i need to pull my bank no problem so you're minimizing my i'm not min i'm not minimizing but you're fucking pocket like you literally are making it seem like you don't have rent because you got milana's chipotle this is on recording i'm not ungrateful it's fine you're getting a reaction you're paying up your rent that you're not a I, I'm not even two grand a fucking month for rent okay you paid two hundred dollars for fucking utilities oh and my I'm goodness you early and you're over here fucking killing me about that i'm not killing you about anything yes, i you just you're, you're i'm here saying you, 
the food on this list and you have to why you're asking. Dude, we've been here for almost a fucking year. Stop acting brand new. If we're a team or whatever, like that's clearly we're fucking not. Miles, we're we're only a team when it's it's gonna be. Well, you know, only when it's convenient Please. for you and I don't Please. piss you off. Why are you still talking to me if you hate me so much? Because don't you want to be far away from me? If you would move, but you don't move. Okay, well, I can't move right this second, so... You don't move at the end of the second. Okay, all right. Every time you say you're going to move, you mm -hmm. don't. Okay, Miles. You don't move. And all I'm right. the bad guy that you still stay with. Okay, you don't fucking here. worry. I will not be staying here. No, Miles, you just promised to change, and then you and don't I change. Fucking you're not baby. fucking changing when you call me a fucking bitch. Because you're not fucking changing either. Miles. Stop being a fucking bitch and change. <laughs> Look at that. I Thank won't you. say it again. I don't care about the recording. Mm -hmm. I'm over here changing. You said I didn't do anything and I did not broke. I went to the game, took them out to the fucking movies, did all the opposite things that you said. Just I because you do something one what? time. That's wrong. Are you kidding? That's fucking Are you wrong. kidding? Can you get out? That's fucking wrong. You're being aggressive as fuck. I'm slapping the bed. Okay, you just flipped my bed. phone and what else? Like, please. You're doing too much. You're, You're doing too much. Nobody said you're doing too much. You just said I'm not fucking changing. By calling me a fucking bitch, how is that changing? Just because you took Milana to the movies doesn't mean you're changing. I'm gonna be alone for most of my life. I highly doubt that. Oh, I mean, no, they're not. They're it's, not it's, they're it's, it's honestly not me. It's, it's not me. To this, after he called me a fucking bitch and then he continued to stand on business and said, yeah, you're being a fucking bitch, you're being a fucking bitch, you're being a fucking bitch. He had the audacity after that to come out and look at me and dead ass, dead ass say, I'm realizing that I'm never going to be emotionally safe with you after he just verbally abused me. Are we so serious right now? Kindly share your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. For my own take, I feel like you already know what I'm going to say. But then when people say women like that should just get out of that relationship, the man is not going to change and all of that. I kind of see comments on those kind of comments that we all act as if we've never been in love before. We all act as if we've never been stupid for a man every time women just come and be like oh why are you so stupid why are you like can't you see the red flags like are you know what are you doing inside you know and the thing is it's not that we have not been stupid before or we've not been in love before it's just that sometimes I'm, most of the time when people give advice like that it's not because they have experienced the same thing you're experiencing it might be they have, it might be somebody close to them, it might be that they've seen is and they know what men are capable of doing. So when people kind of tell you some things and tell you what I used to do in this kind of relationship, I do you think that is going to that is going to change at any time? You know, it's because they want your best interest at heart. So one thing I would say about this situation is that the guy is not going to change. Number one is broke, right? And is irresponsible. He spends his money for rent. He doesn't take care of her. He doesn't respect her. He says annoying words to her. And to, to be honest, I feel like don't so much to her that she does not even need any psychic to tell her that she's in a toxic relationship. And another, there's another thing to be in a toxic relationship and not have a child. There's a time she said she was pregnant and she lost the baby. She lost her brother. So I want to assume she was pregnant for him. See, women, I don't know. There's another thing for you to be in a toxic relationship with your partner alone without having children. Maybe you can navigate it alone by yourself. But getting pregnant, having kids upon kids with this same person, sometimes I'm like, do you really love yourself? Like, look at yourself in the mirror. Do you sometimes look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how much you love yourself? Because you're just going to make things worse 
by getting pregnant. Most of the time, people advise you and tell you when you get pregnant and have kids, it makes things better. With that kind of partner, you're going to make things worse for yourself, for the child. Okay? When you've seen the kind of person your partner is, you shouldn't even think of getting pregnant. You should go lock it up that nothing is going to penetrate. <laughs> even if it penetrates, it's not going to make babies, right? So, he might marry her someday. The thing is that he might actually marry you doesn't mean you've won. Means he has won. I really don't know what to say, but I feel like you guys, you guys that watch my channel already know what I want to say. But then I brought this video for you all to see what was going on in some people's relationship. If this is going on in your own relationship and you think it's normal, it is not. It can mess up with your mental health. It can mess up the way you see people. It can do so many things to you. And you getting pregnant in that kind of situation, it is going to make things 100% worse. So if you're not ready to get out of there to save your life, I don't know. Because the way men are unaliving their wives and girlfriends, <laughs> I don't think you should stay in a serious toxic relationship anymore. We kind of news we've been seeing these days that they just unalive you just because they are your man. When you see a trace of something like that, you should leave. Someone that doesn't care that you had an accident, someone that doesn't care that you lost your brother, someone that doesn't care that you lost a baby, and all of that, it doesn't care about you. Like it's just it. It doesn't have to tell you and he also calls you a effing bitch. It doesn't care about you. Like he sees you as some as maybe he's, he's using you to fill up some gaps till he find the right person or till you stop dropping money. The moment you stop dropping money because now he cannot even pay rent, he's asking you for the money because he knows you will drop it. So all these things is with you for the benefit of himself alone. And even when he sit down and apologize to you all the time, doesn't mean that he cares, doesn't mean he loves you, doesn't mean he wants you. Most of the time, it is manipulation. He manipulates you and as make you feel like he's not doing this out of, you know, you are the one that caused it, you are the one that made him feel that way or he's having some emotional. Let him go heal, then come back and resume the relationship. What is your take on this con on this video? Can you share your thoughts in the comment section? Respectfully, check out Myra Davis and thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.